everyone in acting class said, yoga is the way to become in touch with your soul, which then helps you become in touch with your reality as an actor. If I do not reach nirvana, I cannot. Is it nirvana or nirvana? Nirvana, here we are now. Hesitation, I'll feel stupid. What do you get when a 23-year-old woman decides to give up law school, move to Toronto, and star as an actor? You get my story, The Casey Chronicles. Okay, why do I have my socks on? You don't need socks for yoga. Only for yoga, you feet and bare feet. Okay, taking socks off. This meditation thing is really hard. I'm gonna have to work harder on it. Whew, good, good throw, good job. Okay, so now I have to reach the state of nirvana. Look at me, Casey Byers. Former law student, now turned acting pro, meditation uh, master. Shanti, Shanti. I don't think I'm doing this right. Just, I'm not focusing. I really gotta learn to focus. Okay, so now I'm gonna focus. What I first wanna do is I just wanna start with like an indie film. I want this indie film to go far. It's gonna be like a cool film, like, like a hooker or something, right? Because like then I show that I'm cool. Then like, fun. you know, I'll go on, I'll do like indie film, be like, who's this Canadian chick? Then I'll be like, it's me. It's me, Casey. Yo, like, I'm deep. Like, I didn't wanna be. So then from there, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on and win a Juno. I'm gonna get to know George Strapahubiclis. I mean, his name is really hard to pronounce. I got always Juno, maybe a Grammy. <laughs> I might start singing a song. I mean, you heard no, me Grammy, singing. Grammy. Grammy Oscar. Grammy Oscar, beautiful speech. Beautiful speech like that guy that like started crying and wouldn't stop talking like, oh my God, this bra is actually attacking my back. What? It's like, oh, oh God, I'm popping out. This is not working out for me. And I'm just really getting off track. I have something else I have to do. I really am supposed to be, I'm supposed to be practicing, right? Oh crap. So before I get to the Oscars though, I really want to have a TV series. Like about like a really cute girl. It's kind of she's not stupid, but she's just a little naive for the industry. And that's so what my I'm first TV series. Like I'm gonna do really well, but then I'm gonna be like, I'm totally sick of this show. <laughs> so then I'm probably gonna get into like a more serious role, maybe like a law, law show, like Criminal Minds, like really. Then cool. from there, kind that's when I'll start doing my films. Like I don't want any like stupid films, you know, like girly girly films. I want to be like dark. Oh my god, my gum hurts. Ow. I don't know the dentist. But what about that cute dentist? Oh yeah, he's cute. I'd marry a dentist, then he could pay for my acting. That's a good idea. My mom would be so happy. I could be like, Dr. Dentist and Dr. Dentist Casey. I could be like half doctor. Doesn't that make you half doctor? Stupid! And don't- Is it Casey, don't get ahead of yourself. I'm in it. I just need to breathe. I just need to breathe. Oh, yes. That's perfect. Perfect. I want my films to mean something. I don't want something like just about like, like me finding girl, a guy like living happily and living depressed. Happily and she can't breathe and then she walks into the forest and takes all her clothes off and then that's when she really discovers who she is. Kind of like King Lear. Yeah, I know King Lear. Of course I wanted to do like what Angelina Jolie did. So kind of be like an action star and get like really buff. Cause that's gonna be fun. Like I'll pay and I need to go. get buff. And I can like run around town. It's gonna be wicked. Like race cars I'm talking, like trucks jumping on top of them. Like swish. Like Matt Damon, yo. And then after like a bunch of movies and like my Oscar and everything, I'm gonna retire probably in Canada, in Vancouver, and become a grand old theater snob and tell everyone that they're just not very good at what they're doing. <laughs>